All right, Kevin, thank you so much. Up next, we are headed into the Fox 2 kitchen to celebrate all things potato. The National Day of the Potato is coming up. We want to make sure you're ready for it with a bunch of different recipes when we come back. Dan Quell would be proud. It is all about the potato here in the Fox 2 kitchen. <laughs> Chef Anthony Calabresi from Cantoro Trattoria and Market is here to show us one of the most attractive potato dishes you can possibly make. He brought a few of them. I don't know which one you're going to pick to be the most attractive, but I can't wait to hear it. Good morning. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. So listen, it's the day of the potato. And, you know, it's not just for baking anymore, right? Not always. <laughs> nope. So what we have here is uh, a classic potato pavé. So French word for paving stones. Okay. Yes. And it generally uh, refers to anything either square or rectangle in uh, food form. So what we do with the potato pavé, we peel our just a regular baking potato. Okay. Peel them, slice them with our mandolin. So you want them very paper thin. And as we're slicing them, you're going to take them and put them into heavy cream. Wow. They're going to soak in heavy cream, which will help them from oxidizing. And we'll spray your pan with a nonstick uh, pan spray. So as they're paper thin, you take them out of the cream and shingle them into your pan, okay. creating a first layer. When you say shingle them. Yep, just like the shingles layers. on the roof. Yep, very thin layers. All right. And each layer is going to get a little salt, pepper, fresh uh, ground nutmeg, and you're going to dot each layer with butter. My goodness. So it's very heart smart. <laughs> Sounds very uh, in, in depth too. Yes. We should probably yes. just have you make them for us, right? I can Those do are high stacks though. So, I mean, they how are. long is that? That takes a little bit, right? A it little, does. A little patience. It does. Mm -hmm. So, you're going to get a, at least about a dozen potatoes into a pan this size. Okay. So, you, uh, each layer is the same. So, as you're layering salt, pepper, nutmeg, dots of butter, cover that with plastic and foil, and it's going to slow bake in the oven for about uh, an hour and a half to two hours. Okay. Cool it overnight. You can unmold it out of the pan. And that's where I'm able to cut nice little, uh, you know, rectangle forms like this. Or we can do a triangle over there. Or if you're serving it with an entree, you can do a little square with some lamb chops, some broccolini. Okay. But generally, it's kind of more of an appetizer and hors d'oeuvre. Do you have to, when you cut them into those squares like that, do they have to be cold? Yes. Because yes, otherwise, yes. you kind of don't mash potato. It almost, you know, don't yes, mash potato. Yes, exactly. Off. Very fragile dish. So mm -hmm. as we're, you know, um, pan frying them here. They, they soften up. When the butter softens, it obviously gets very warm and gets very fragile to work with. So you got to kind of be work quickly. Have the rest of your accompaniments ready to go. Okay. Excellent. Sounds like a process. Tell us, what is your favorite type of potato to work with? I see some sweet potatoes here. Honestly, you're regular. Regular? Yeah. Yep. It, there's so many things you can do with it, whether it's a potato pavé, uh, a mashed potato, a miniature twice-baked potato, uh, Italian potato salad like we have here with a lemoncello vinaigrette and uh, fennel greens. Yeah. Potato salad over there with bacon, onions, and gorgonzola cheese. So to me, it's the most versatile. I can't believe how good everything looks. <laughs> what are those little pods of potato over there? What's that the all pods, about? We have a baby Yukon gold potato. Nice. With uh, just a, a twice-baked, so cheddar cheese and bacon. Wow. Yeah, these are all comfort foods, too. Everybody yes. loves potatoes. Sure. Where that are you guys true. located? We are in uh, Plymouth and Livonia. Okay. Yep. Two different locations. Yep. All right. So celebrate the potato today. We'll get the recipe up at fox2detroit.com. And you guys have anything special coming up before we go? Uh, we don't. Just come in and see us. The trattoria is uh, a nice little hidden gem. Yeah. I think, I think they'll like it. Sounds like you have great stuff there. We're going to put the recipe, like you said, on our website, fox2detroit.com. And uh, thanks for coming in, Chef. My I can't pleasure. Wait to give it a try. My pleasure. All right. Let's, let's dig in. Eat. Yes. Please do. All right.